Oh crap, that scope sets too high. I gotta, that sucks, I gotta take my face off the cheek rest to fire a shot. Well, that's ironic because I just happen to have the perfect solution to that problem. And that is the no drill cheek rest. The no drill cheek rest solves a problem that I had several years ago when uh, I had another gun that I couldn't get up on the optic to because the optic set higher than the cheek rest of the rifle. So with the no drill cheek rest, you have the ability to make that change. This thing will adjust from here all the way up to about right here. To install the cheek rest, super easy peasy lemon squeezy. You're gonna need a number two pencil. You're gonna want to find where you would like for the cheek rest to be placed on your gun. And just make a pencil mark, just like that. You wanna use pencil, that way it'll come off of there. So we're gonna go ahead and place that right there. And then we're gonna hold it where we want it. Flip it over to the other side. Make our mark there. No drill cheek rest comes with two. I said two pieces of hook and loop Velcro material. It's sticky back. It's got both sides. It's got the hook and the loop. All right. Now the hardest part of the install of this is getting these uh, backs off of the Velcro. This tends to take a couple of seconds because it's really good material and holds proper. All right, so we're gonna find our pencil mark on there and we're gonna orient our Velcro based on that pencil mark. So I don't wanna go this high with it. So my mark is a little high, so we're gonna come down just a hair to about right there. All right, so now we're gonna grab our other piece of material. And I personally like having the loop material on the gun and the hook in the cheek rest. So that's what we're gonna do. Get this bad boy off of here. You know, and I make the pencil marks just for my own uh, satisfaction. I don't really need to do that. And you'll see here in just a second why it's super super easy to just eyeball this stuff all right and remember how there's our line where our line's at so we want to come down just a little bit about right there we'll do and then we're going to just peel our velcro off and make sure that that's seated real good set that to the side pull the other side off no, we don't want the plastic off. We want, there we go, like that. And again, we're just going to make sure everything is seated in here really, really good. You can see by the seam line of the mold of the stock that we're really close to being the same on either side. All right, so the next step, we're going to take and peel off the plastic off of the hook. And we are going to just place that right inside eyeball it as best you can it don't have to be perfect it does not have to be perfect the reason it doesn't have to be perfect is because it can easily be pulled off and done again and these strips of velcro you can pick these up extra replacements can be picked up on amazon uh, relatively cheap i think it's like 12 or 13 bucks for a whole box of these little strips so then you get the other side out and do the same thing yeah, here, pencil. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. That, see, you can just pull it right back off of there if you make a mistake. Boom, there we go. Yep, pretty close on both sides. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect unless you're one of those cats that are super duper OCD and everything has to just be perfect. All right, we're ready to install. And you got your hook material inside you got your loop material on the outside boom set it down on there let's uh have a look and see if that does 
Oh man, exactly what I wanted it to do. First try. I won't hold it against you guys. I know you've never done this before. I've done this twice now, so I got it right on my second time of installing one of these. But now, as you can see, the optic and the cheek rest are now closer to being in line. And if I need to come up, I can come up another inch and a half, almost two inches. And uh, if you end up taking the optic off and you're going with different rings, you can bring this down like say you wanted to take the optic off and you need no cheek cheek rest just slide it all the way down to its base position and you're good to go if you put something on your gun that has higher rings you can adjust this up to a full two inches of adjustment let's shoot this thing oh yeah smells like freedom out here on therapy range all right guys so, the No Drill Cheek Rest. This is available at nodrillcheekrest.com. It's available on No Drill Cheek Rest on eBay. And uh, we've got some down in Briarly's Fi Family Firearms in Ripley, Ohio. There's some at 68 Bait and Tackle in uh, Mount Orb, Ohio. Bethel, Ohio is their address. And we're looking for more outlets. So if you happen to own a small retail outlet and would like to carry the American-made fully adjustable no-drill cheek rest at your location, feel free to leave a comment down below with some contact information and I will reach out to you personally because this is a small business opportunity. I am a small business. When it comes time to make these, I'm the guy in the shop cutting, bending, forming, doing all the jazz that makes it come together. So, I, hit me up. I'd, I'd love, I would love to have a conversation with anybody that wants to carry the no drill cheek rest in their store location until then be sure to live your lives to the fullest because anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you stay free america if you can it's time to shut up and shoot Go! Tech Industries, the official Cerakoter for Therapy Range.